Hey everybody, today I'm going to be going over the CamDo Blink X Weather X Intervalometer Time Lapse Camera. Um, as you can see, I got the Dry X housing with the adjustable arm. I connected the adjustable arm to the housing uh, with a couple screws that came with the arm, and I got all this from CamDo. Um, on the back side here is where I connect it to usually a 6x6 post in my construction projects. So I'm just going to kind of get into it. So first thing we have is a UV filter. I'm just going to put that on top of the dry axis. It's pretty hard to do with one hand, but I can manage. And then we open the clasp by pushing the button and then flipping the clasp. And then you can see you can open up the box and now we can put stuff in it. Um, first thing I'll go over is the battery. Uh, here's the battery. It usually has Velcro on the back of it, but uh, not this one because I ordered this directly from Voltec because CamDo just marks up the prices. And I'm holding the button down so that we can turn it into always on mode. And if you hold it down and then you get six blinks and then it stays on. That's when you know it's on. You can also tell by pushing the button once, double clicking, and if the lights stay on, then it's always on. So cool. Batteries in always on mode. Then we're going to be looking at this little cord that we got from CamDo and it says CamDo only exclamation point. So make sure you use that just for the GoPro camera. And the GoPro camera I got is a Hero 5 Black, I believe. If you open up the battery compartment, you can see an SD card in there, but there's no battery. I did a bunch of tests and I found out that the battery actually lasts longer if the battery is not inside the GoPro. I know it sounds crazy, but that's just how it works. Um, I did a bunch of tests with that. So this is where the camera goes in, obviously. And I've fold the velcro back. I actually don't even use the velcro because it's tight enough. You just kind of fit the camera in there and you can see that the inputs or outputs uh, line up with this little hole here so that we can plug in our camera. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So we grab the cam do only, um, yep, cam do only cord, plug it in, and then we're going to be plugging the other side of it into the Blink X intervalometer. Um, and make sure you put it in through the camera port. So there it's connected, and we're going to kind of tuck that away here for a second while I plug in the battery. All right, so what we have here is a micro USB cable, which, see that micro USB, I can't remember what type it is, might be type A or type B, and then a normal USB port. So you're going to want to grab that. Uh, you might have to buy that separately. I don't think CamDo provides that. And put that in the power part of the intervalometer, and then the normal USB side goes to the battery, and the normal USB port goes into the orange side, the four tablet side of the battery. And then we tuck that in there, and if yours has Velcro, just stick it to the Velcro in the back. And then we're going to mess with the intervalometer. So go ahead and push that little button on the intervalometer, there's only one button on it, and hold it down for five seconds and you'll get three really quick blue blinks. So now go to your phone and go to the Wi-Fi settings in your phone and you will see blink x underscore or something, a whole bunch of numbers and letters. So click that and it'll automatically connect. And then you have to wait here for a second. So just wait for like a little bit and you will get a notification. And so tap the notification and it'll say this network has no access, do you want to stay connected? And you click yes. So now you go to your browser and you go to 192.168.1.1 and it'll take you to this blink x menu. And now you're actually connected to the intervalometer. So if you scroll down, you'll see a whole bunch of schedules. I have schedule one enabled and I have all the days a week selected. I have it going from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. because it's a little bit darker outside usually earlier on. And I have my intervalometer set for 50 minutes because it's kind of chilly outside. So the battery doesn't last quite as long. Uh, I click sync time. Always make sure you sync time every time you open this and then click save all. And then you're done with it. So anyway, once you're done with that, you go back to your intervalometer, and I usually turn off the Wi-Fi by holding it again and waiting for it to blink three times. It turns off automatically after five minutes, but I don't want to waste the battery. So anyway, now we're done. We tuck it all up in there. We close up the dry X weather housing. I'm going to shut that and shut this side. Yeah, and now we're done. So that is the CamDo time-lapse camera, and there's just a couple things I want to say about this thing. Uh, first thing I'll say is that, you know, I take one picture every 40 minutes and that goes for about 10 hours a day and that usually lasts me around three weeks um, when the temperature outside is moderate. Um, but I just want to warn you guys, do not order this thing unless you're 100% sure you want it because 
CamDo charges a 20% restocking fee. They will charge you this restocking fee even if you've canceled your order and they haven't even shipped it to you yet. They'll still charge you for it. And that can be hundreds of dollars because these things are pretty expensive. Um, they also mark up all their stuff. So if you ever have the opportunity to buy the batteries directly from Voltec, um, definitely jump on that because uh, CamDo does whatever they can to mark up anything. And definitely buy your GoPro cameras separately because they mark up the GoPros tremendously also. So anyway, I hope this helped you out in your current and future projects. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.